right. This is right now number two, which we're doing. It's a very rainy Monday morning, and I uh, brought Rachel in this morning. Hi, guys. Drew's out, <laughs> but um, I want to bring you in anyway. No, you're a staple, <laughs> a tentpole in this thing. I don't know. We have we always our, have... our uh, matching Contigo mugs here. Yeah, see, Rachel knows what's the up. Best. Rachel knows what's up. That was a big point of debate, more so than I would realize in the last one. A um, couple of things to get kind of just started off here. I want to mention that we are going to have a new uh, giveaway that's starting today. We're doing yes. a joint giveaway with the Hanger Project, uh, a Ocean Swirl M805 Pelican pen. I said that backwards from what I intended to, but Pelican M805 Ocean Swirl. That's what I meant to say, along with some really, really cool stuff that uh, Hanger Project's given away. So be sure to check that out. And uh, you'll have like, th was it three weeks more? Mm -hmm. To do that? February. Yeah, end of February. Cool. So you got plenty of time to enter into that one, but it's gonna be a big deal. It's like two grand worth of stuff. So check that out. Also, we published Q&A 200 on Friday. You can Did check that out. Tour. Whole office tour. It's pretty sweet. Really proud of that one. So got a big response out of that We one. have a lot of new products that came in. A lot that came mm -hmm. in on Friday. Friday was the big uh, Lamy All-Star Vibrant Pink launch. So we had all the pens and the ink, which we discovered has shimmer. Yeah, we didn't, we didn't know that. We had a cartridge of the ink previously, but uh, we did not have a bottle of it. So when we swabbed it, it was out of the cartridge, which you can't like dip and immerse the swab But into. then we started making the samples and we got to the bottom of the, the thing and we're like, that's, like, that's glitter. That's like it? legit. We knew it's silver sheen. stuff down there. We knew it's sheen. Both the bottle and the cartridge is sheen, but the bottle has a little bit of extra shimmer. It's not as shimmery as like the diamine shimmer tastics or anything right, like that. Right, right. But it's, it's got a little sparkle. Go lobby. It does, yeah. So that was a nice little surprise. We did not expect that to happen. So we got that in and we were like, great. Okay. And we have not sold out, <laughs> unlike past launches of like the petrol yes. and the uh, dark lilac where we didn't get a lot of ink. We got a decent quantity. So it's still in stock. So that's really, really Really exciting. That is exciting. And then at the same time, we had all this other new stuff come in, mm -hmm. uh, which we'll talk about here. We have the pilot uh, hand lettering set. So there's a couple different sets. Yes. We got more colors of the Monte Verde Regatta, Regatta Sport. This pink right here is a perfect match for the vibrant pink ink, right? It really is. It really is. Uh, also, I got to say this blue one uh, oh, is that's, pretty that's your, much my favorite, that's your blue. as if you couldn't guess. But it's cool because they're a magnetic cap. You know, the Regatta Sport, is it's a pen that we carried a while ago. And, uh, They've we redesigned haven't had it, it several times. Yeah, and they lowered the price on it. So yes. it's definitely worth a look. It's a big, heavy pen, very chunky. Um, got this nice magnetic closure. So it's not for everybody for sure, but whether you love it or hate it, it'll certainly draw some kind of reaction. Uh, it's heavy. You. It's heavy, but it's not like... As far as the size, it's reasonable. Yeah, and then there's the a carbon red one fiber. too. The red one's pretty. It's a good popping. red. Reds are interesting. Reds don't always do well. It, you know. Yeah, but you know, it's the red balanced out with the black. It kind of works. It's a good combination. For me. Yeah, um, and then there's the Northern Lights one, which we don't have here, but that one is really shiny. We we'll are restocking later this week. Yeah, we'll have that to show that one later. Cool. Um, so that's it for the Monte Verde. We got some uh, Cipula Echurias. These, wow, are these? Do they weigh differently? Between the two? Between the two? That's a good question. Hmm. I don't know. You're holding them in your hand. Does one have ink and the other doesn't? You tell maybe? me. This one's got a converter in it. I don't know if that one does. This one feels heavier for some reason. Does it? All yeah. right. Well, we'll have to measure that then. All right. So this is the Stipula Echuria. These are two brand new colors. This is Gorilla. It's a matte black with the uh, ruthenium trim there. Mm -hmm. And this is Tortoise. Got a nice matte gold trim to it. Um, these are surprise. These are large, as you can see. They are large. Um, surprisingly lightweight, though. Yeah, they are. Well, they're 30 grams. At least the Gorilla one is. Maybe if you said the other one's heavier, we'll have to check that one out. This is mine, and I was using this on Saturday when I was helping write some notes and stuff. Yeah, they if you saw my letters. Instagram, that's what I was writing with this one. It's a large pen. It's got a nice kind of contour grip, just like the Edison... Uh, Collier or the Premier it does. It reminds me a lot of the Collier. It really does for me, except it posts. So if you kind of wanted a Collier that posts, this could be your pen, you know? And so I was using it, I have big hands. I find it, found it to be very comfortable, even writing for like, I think it was an hour, hour and a half straight. Um, I would write, for me, I would write with it unposted. Um, one, once I post it for my smaller hands, it feels very back heavy. Does it? To me. Because yeah, my I mean, hands are smaller. Yeah, I mean, of course, any pen that you put the cap on, it's going to feel heavier than if you don't. But um, for me, it works either way. I was I found myself switching back and forth between the two as I was writing with it. But um, I had this one inked up, but I think that, uh, yeah, I think it's all dried up. This I is empty, too. Um, but the nib, to me, feels uh, very smooth. Just a tiny, tiny little bit of feedback. Um, not too much, though. And the flow was pretty consistent. It definitely flowed out a little wetter when I first inked it up. And then it, it let up a little bit as I would write. But I was using Monterey Fire Opal as well, mm -hmm. which is like, 
you know, it's got a lot of stuff in the ink, I guess. You know, it's not like one of the smoothest flowing inks, but I still found it to be pretty consistent. So that was pretty cool. And then we have these hand lettering sets, which I yes. have been really excited about for months. We've been waiting for them to come in. Mm -hmm. um, so there's five different sets here. So there are two for the Plumix. Um, this is a, um, which one is this? Hydran no, wait, this is Hydrangea. And this is uh, Iris? Iris, yeah. So each of these come with three pens that kind of match the color scheme, and they come in three different nib sizes. Um, it actually says on the back of the box what they are. So there's like a 0 .44, 0 .58, 0 .7. Now, let me have a caveat here. Yeah, yeah, because we were measuring them. We're like, yeah. wait, isn't the Plumix a 1.0? And that's a medium, so what's well, going on? That's, I'll be completely honest, that's something where I need to kind of talk to Pilot and see what's going on, because the pen that we've been advertising for years as the Plumix 1.0 is actually the medium, which they call here as a 0.58. So the actual tip size itself is the same on both pens as the Plumix we've always had as the 1.0, but now they're calling it a 0.58 here. It's a little bit confusing, but either way, so just the more, more important thing to understand is that um, what we are typically calling the 1.0, that's the medium one. The broad is a little bit broader than that, and the fine is a little bit finer than that. So you can go ahead and write with it. I have writing samples that I did of all three of them here. We'll have these up in the nib nook very soon. I think Sarah might be working on it today, maybe or maybe in a couple days. Mm -hmm. We should have that up on the website. So Rachel's writing with it. Okay, so that's the medium one. Mm-hmm. Okay. Are these all inked up? Yeah, they should all be inked all right. up. This is the so This is Noodler's Black that we have. Fine. You able to get that, Andy? Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. We're still learning everybody. We're still testing out the whole this video one, thing. Again, it's a little hard. Maybe I'm not holding it right. So, oh, there you go. Yeah. So the fine is, is not super forgiving on the rotation in your hand no, because it's, it's such a fine nib. And to get a fine nib like that with line variation, it's very subtle. And then we have broad. This is Rhodia 5 millimeter dot pad paper as well. So the line variation you're going to see, it's, it's uh, keep in go. mind, you got a 5 millimeter reference point between those dots. Yeah, so definitely some variation going on there. Yeah. So these are pretty cool. So they come, you get three pens, and then it comes with matching ink cartridges for each of the pens. And it comes with a little book <laughs> by hand lettering. This one's for the Kakuno. Kakuno? I never say it right. <laughs> You're asking me like I know. I don't know, but it has some different like lettering things in it, which is pretty cool. So just some different alphabets, um, hand drawn, some inspiration for doing phrases and flourishes, which is a lot of people are using these for, mm -hmm. um, and just kind of going over some other pilot products. So this is pretty cool. Yeah, and so the, cool. the yeah the three. The, oh, well, that. I was gonna say part of the <laughs> part of the cool thing about these two is the pilot nibs. They're proprietary nibs, but you can actually just uh, this is inked up, so it's gonna make a mess. But you can actually pull these things out, and these nibs swap between the Plumix, the Kakuno, the, the Metropolitan, oh. the Prera. So, so you, you can have, stick one of these italics on your Metro. Yeah, if you want a fine italic on your Metro, you can make that happen by getting your finger. It's easier to do if the pen's not inked up, <laughs> uh, but you know, I'm not afraid to get my fingers inked up at the beginning of the day. Are we supposed to be talking to each other, like camera? You know, Rachel, we can just let it fly. However, it ends up working out. <laughs> and we're getting like this back in the, the routine of like formal things. Like, wait, it's supposed to be informal. Well, so the thing you guys, you guys don't understand is Rachel and I have shot, I don't know, hundreds of videos together. Yeah. Even though the videos on YouTube mostly feature me, we did back in the right, day. We did right time together for what a hundred episodes of like hour long or longer we live it, broadcasts. We also caught it right now at one point. Did we call it right now? Yes. Get out of here. Yeah, we've when? Someone, someone found it, like twenty twelve. Someone found a video. What? Yeah. Oh gosh, we're recycling our material, <laughs> not even realizing it. We'll we, go figure. Yeah, we used to have like, you know, well, yeah, we do right time. We had a little baby in the, you know. Yeah, I remember that. Then it got really hard because it was at home. That was really hard. Was but then we like we resurrected that and then we it did again and then it just canceled again. And then we did Periscope. We did 134, I think, live Periscopes. Yeah. And then we've done Instagram Live. We've done a lot of this. I kind haven't of done style as much video. in recent years, but. That's true. Anyway, but, okay. Anyway. We like went over the, the like Plumixes. Then there's two for the Kakuno. Kakuno. Oh gosh. See now I'm like paranoid. Pick a name and stick with it. Kakuno is what. So there is the cherry blossom. So this one is a, a pink and gray, inspired by cherry, cherry blossoms. blossoms. Hey. And then this one is inspired by the red maple, the Japanese red maple. So you got a red and blue. So there's a fine and a medium, um, and these are the cute 
Oh boy, should I take this out? This has a cute smiley face nib. Can you see that? Oh man. It's pretty great. Can yes. you get it? Got you got it? it? Yes. Nice. <laughs> so this is a great gift for a first time fountain pen user. Um, you know, they're, they're advertising these for hand lettering. These are traditional fountain pens. You know, they're not like italic or, you know, anything like yeah. that. But I mean, you, you can absolutely use fountain pens for hand lettering. Um, no, they don't come with converters. So you no. do need to get converters if you want to go well, that route. They, they, they come with the cartridges, cartridges, but yeah. if you want to use bottled ink and, you know, like hot new inks and stuff like that. And then this set, we've been carrying our own parallel package set for a while, but this one kind of replaces that. So this comes with, I'm gonna flip it over, mm -hmm. uh, one of each of the parallel pens, the mixable color cartridges and a pack of black as well as uh, the pipette and the nib cleaner. So it's kind of everything you need in one. Wait, I'll just, oh boy. Oh boy, you're gonna rip it. No, I'm not gonna rip it. I opened it before. Mm-hmm. I'm not gonna rip it. Okay. So you got those fingernails. I don't have fingernails. I'm like a, <laughs> I'm like a monster tearing into these packages. Yeah. So I haven't, oops, sorry. I'm like moving all over the place. I haven't actually opened up the set yet. So this is cool. It shows you how to put a cartridge in, how to use a nib cleaner. Mm -hmm. Um. This is this is actually really really helpful. And Hand you, lettering technique. So much way to hold it. <laughs> if you want a throwback, the only solo rate video that Rachel's That's ever done true. was how to use the pile of parallels and mix the colors. Oh, she was I, pregnant with Ellie at the time. I was newly. I looked like a mess. This was like seven years ago. I was like, I'm gonna try making videos. You did not look like a mess. You looked great. All right. Cool. It's got a little flourish. You had a glow about you. Sure, a mess, a hot mess glow. Um, so <laughs> hot the, mess these, glow. <laughs> so these pens are cool. If you put two different colors in, you kind of touch the tips, yeah. and you start writing with one, it'll gradiate from one color to the other. So yeah, check out That's my really video, cool. my one solo. That's video. right, stealing the show. Oh my gosh, we're, this is such a mess. This is my life right here. I love it. Um, all right, we're gonna wrap up because we gotta get started to our day here. We gotta go ship some more of these out. We do, but um, thanks for joining us for another Right Now. If you want to, um, sign up for notifications. I don't think it's defaulted on YouTube anymore. But How I think do you, you do, can that, do that, Ryan? That's a great question. <laughs> I don't have detailed information for you. I think there's a bell. There's a picture of a bell somewhere down in like the bottom left, bottom, bottom right. Somewhere in the YouTube, in the YouTube settings is what I just is said. Always a good settings, place check to your start. settings. We'll get or you more specific Google details it. on number three. Google should tell you. Yes, but anyway, <laughs> check that out because we're going to be putting a couple of these out a week. So, um, hope you enjoyed this here this morning. Thanks for watching and right on.